Hi everyone, it's Nancy Guppy and you are joining me here at my home office, my desk. This is where the magic happens, which I don't know what that means. I just wanted to say that. And uh, of course, joining me is my partner in crime, Mr. Joe Guppy. There he is. Hi, Joe. And Joe is running. <laughs> That's a cheesy look. He's running the uh, iPhone camera. Now, um, Art Zone Phones It In is a scrappy version of Art Zone, the show I've been doing uh, through the Seattle channel with a fabulous crew there for 10 plus years. But because of COVID-19, uh, our production has been suspended, but we did not want to stop bringing you art and culture and staying connected. So Art Zone Phones It In was born. Now, in this episode, we've got some great stuff. Uh, Grace Love, the wonderful Grace Love, is going to be uh, singing a song off her new record. Uh, we have a fabulous photo montage by Ernie Sapiro, a calendar of virtual events. And we're going to start off with um, <laughs> the wonderful Lauren Weedman. Now, Lauren is well known to Seattle audiences for her award-winning one-woman shows, theatrical shows. Lauren's done lots of feature films and she's done a ton of television. Of course, she was on Almost Live here in Seattle way back in the day. And she had uh, recurring roles on two HBO series, Hung and Looking. I got a hold of Lauren and I asked her if she would send in a stream of consciousness kind of video check-in on how she's doing during this time. And lucky for us, she did just that. Hi, Nancy. It's Lauren. I'm doing really well. Um, I mean, thriving. It's funny. I guess I just needed a coronavirus and a pandemic and constant anxiety. And I think I needed to cry in front of strangers um, because I haven't done that really. And so it's been, I, I, guess, I think I just needed this. I needed time just to kind of to eat and uh, um, drink and, and be locked in a room uh, with my 10-year-old uh, son and and, he, and my son needed to hear me curse. I think that he he had a certain idea of me that I didn't talk like that. He needed to know how how his mother has a mouth like a sailor, um, a sailor from the '40s, not a current day sailor. Um, I don't know what they talk like. I'm just not around them <laughs> like I used to be in the '40s. So um, yeah, so it's been it's been so it's been great. And um, let's see, uh, anxiety, crying in front of the construction worker, um, other cursing. And um, I tried to, there was one day I tried to, you know, it's fun to, if you're for sure you've heard about this, like dress up one day, make it a fun Friday, a fancy Friday. Just because you're locked inside and, and, and mired with anxiety doesn't mean you can't, you know, uh, put on a dress. And so, or whatever, fancy pants, whatever your thing is. Um, or just comb your hair for fun. I did not curse. I said for fluffing, put in, put in for fluffing. Anyway, it's getting worse. So I, um, I, I put on like makeup and uh, I came out and cause plus you're FaceTiming people a lot. And it seems like sometimes you see yourself in FaceTime, you're like, dear God, there's, you know, depression. And then there's the great depression on your face. You know, it's like, anyway, the vanity of this is not appealing to be talking about right now, but I come out and Leo, my son sees me and he was like, what are you wearing that makeup for? And he was like, and even like reached out to like wipe it off me. Like, what's that on your eyes? What is that? What do you think you are, you you lady of the night? Um, and I was like, well, this is, uh. anyway, he's having a good time because he doesn't have to go to school and he has full access to me all the time. So it's his fantasy. He's he, he's he's probably gonna be one of those guys that ends up like, those guys that kidnap people and keep them in the basement. So they always know where they are. What do they call those? Oh, serial killers, that's right. Well, let's hope he doesn't. Anyway, serial killers, coronavirus, what else is going on? Um, not much, just drinking my coffee. I was um, thinking about getting in the car and just driving. Um, and driving and driving and driving and driving. And then wherever we end up, Utah, Nevada, whatever, homesteading. Um, and then by the time people come out of their houses from the, the, the quarantine, um, what are they gonna do? We've already built ourselves a home with a septic system and stuff like that. I could probably do that. There's got to be a, a YouTube thing for building, digging your own septic, building your own septic. I don't even know how to say it. Anyway, but doing, I, 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 I still wish I was in Seattle. Still. Even with Amazon being there. I'm just kidding. That's not what I meant to say. And plus, what a great thing for everybody. Um, God knows I've gotten some deliveries. All right, that's all. I hope you guys are good. And, um, 
How many times did I touch my face during this whole thing? Uh... Uh, Lauren, I counted, I think, 13 face touches. 14. 14? Okay, Joe says 14, so I think you should go wash your hands for probably like an hour. Well, you can catch Lauren in her brand new show, Tales from the Loop. It's a new sci-fi series on Amazon, and you can follow Lauren's every entertaining move on Instagram. Lauren's monologue made me think about the art of staying sane during this kind of crazy time. So I thought I would share a few coping mechanisms that I've come up with. All right, number one, I must take a shower before 5 p.m. every day. Uh, number two, I can only stand at the kitchen counter and eat out of a container once a day. And uh, my third rule during this time of stress is always apologize in a timely manner. Case in point, uh, earlier today, Joe and I drove to the grocery store to get me some peanut butter because it's been totally wiped out for like every time we've gone to the store. So Joe, I waited in the car and Joe went into the store and he found the brand that I love. So he bought two jars and he brought it back, got in the car. I was super excited, of course, until I realized that um, he had gotten creamy. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and I like crunchy. So I became enraged, uh, even more so because we both touched both jars. So you can't return them in this time. You know, you can't swap them out. The swearing and the flailing of the arms that ensued was just so over the top that um, I completely owe Joe an apology for my behavior. So I'm, I'm right here. Yeah, but I'm not quite ready. Okay. So um, up next is a musical interlude uh, from the mega talented Grace Love and Grace sent us a recorded at home version of Elevate. It's a song off of her new fantastic record, Grace Love and Reset. Enjoy. Hey, Nancy. How are you? Hope you're well. Amidst all this craziness that's going on in the world, um, I'm so honored to be back on Art Zone. Um, as you can see, I have a new um, band member. <laughs> this is Milo. My son, he is seven months and a week, I think. Yeah, he's an old guy. Um, and uh, we are just here, hanging out, living the life. <laughs> All we can do, right? So I'm going to play one of my favorite songs off this record, um, Grace Love and Risa. And it is called Elevate. So I hope you enjoy. And Milo's going to hopefully hang in there with me for three minutes <laughs> and um we're gonna record this song all right thank you so much Elevate, elevate 
take your senses, baby, and live Let me touch your heart and pull you apart and put you back together all over again. When it touches you, let your heart break through. When you feel the groove, let it break your Elevate your senses, baby, elevate. 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 Thanks, Grace, and thank you, Milo. Uh, Grace Love and Reset is available for order online from local record stores. You can also download it from her Bandcamp page. All right, even though we're all homebound, there are a lot of ways to experience art and support artists from our homes, and I want to mention just a few. And we're going to start with um, some art galleries. Now, of course, the galleries themselves are closed. But the exhibits that were scheduled to open have opened and you can go on and look at work. You can buy work online as well. Uh, one show, David Pileski, he has a, a bunch of paintings at Gallery Mac. This is his first show at that gallery and it can be viewed at gallerymac.com. Plus, there's a link for a video tour of the show that includes a few words from David himself, a wonderful guy. Uh, Gregory Blackstock is a wonderful artist, and we actually have a piece of his, it's right over here. It's called The World Firecrackers. Man, it's just a, a spectacular, probably one of my very favorites. And Gregory is having his fifth show uh, at Greg Crucera Gallery of Drawings, and it's uh, his first time he's ever showed prints, and so you can check all of that out at gregcrucera.com. Uh, moving on to On the Boards. On the Boards is Seattle's renowned contemporary performance venue and every Friday morning uh, at 10 a.m. you can join executive director Betsy Brock for Coffee Talk with Betsy Brock. Uh, it's a chance to hang out in the On the Boards lobby with people, friends, artists that you would be seeing in the lobby if you were actually there going to shows. Um, also, OTB is offering artist hangouts. I think this is super cool. And this is 30 minute one-on-one -on -one meetings where artists can talk with OTB creative staff about new projects or get assistance on filling out uh, a grant or whatever you want. Um, so for those two things, I'm gonna give you the website. It's kind of long, so get a pencil or pen ready. It's ontheboards.org slash stay dash connected dash with dash on dash the dash boards. And uh, finally, while Better Royal Hall is closed, uh, our wonderful Seattle Symphony is ramping up their online offerings and they're rebroadcasting some of their big concerts. Uh, they've also got great family programming, including the popular Meet the Instrument series. And you can check out their full schedule of online offerings at seattlesymphony.org slash live.
Thanks to Ernie Sapiro, uh, Art Zone's official photographer and a great artist for that beautiful and ghostly glimpse of our beloved city. And you can look at more of Ernie's work on his website, erniesapiro.com. And that's it. Thanks so much for joining me and Joe. Joe, you have anything you want to say? Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> yep. And we are going to keep phoning this in until we can all be together again in person. Have a great week, and we're going to close and run credits over a few of my favorite pieces. Uh, this is by Saya Moriasu, uh, Jeffrey Mitchell, Dean Chow, and the late, great Bree Brown. <laughs>